Okay, so I'm gonna make another video here of my little Westinghouse 2400. It's hot now. It's summertime here in Louisiana. So I got it warming up there. It's in uh, economy econo mode. And uh, let's go over here to the camper. Rockwell 2104. Mini light with a 13.5 BTU Coleman Mach AC unit. And there she is right there. I've got a hard start capacitor. And I've got a uh, time delay on my fan. See what we can see there. And um, the batteries are floating. So, in fact, you can actually see them right here. 13.27 volts. And uh, it's been plugged in. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hit the battery disconnect. I'm gonna leave it like it is. And we're gonna see if this generator can start this puppy. We're gonna start it in the econo mode just to see. Make things hard. Now here's uh, just so that we know where we're starting from. Let's look at the temperature on the thermostat. Okay, so it's we're looking at 91 and a half degrees. That's pretty hot. I think that's a that's a fair test. We are at sea level though, and uh, 26 foot above the sea level to be exact. So it makes a difference. What it sounds like if I take it off of a kind of mode. Still a quiet little generator. I mean, I'm within a foot of it, and uh, it just gins right along for 600 bucks from China. Yeah, it's putting out 103.5 volts, which is really helpful because I've seen some generators only sit there with 115 volts. And uh, the higher the bolts, the less the uh, the amps. So this this little generator, for some reason, puts out a little bit higher, which is good. And we're gonna listen and see what happens. As I said, I got a time delay on the fan. And I got a Subco SPP6 hard start capacitor installed, which I've already done some measuring on that. And uh, that knocks off five amps. Uh, and I've, I've proven that with my amp meter. You can look at past videos on that. Um, the other thing I've done is the time delay, which is going to allow the compressor to kick off first and that's going to uh, delay the fan I don't know I'm estimating about five seconds uh, it's it's adjustable but that's where I've got it right now and uh, so that that way your generator uh, doesn't have any other load start it doesn't have that fan fan startup load so you know, it's it's devoted to just getting the compressor going. And then once the compressor comes online, which is about on this this system right here with the uh, with the hard start, I've measured 16 and three quarter to 17 amps of starting load on just a compressor. Uh, when the uh, once the compressor comes on, then the uh, amps settle way back down to nine amps, 10 amps, whatever. And uh, and then the uh, additional five amps of starting load on the fan comes on. And uh, then you, uh, you're online. 
So, as I said, I've done this uh, several times already. Kind of got bold and said, well, I'm going to do it in econo mode. It's still hot in here. Ninety and a half. So, enough with the talk. Let's see what's going to happen. First, what I'll do is uh, put it on cool. Okay, just moved it to cool. Uh, I've got it set on low fan. Right there. There's the old Coleman. That's the original stuff. Original thermostat. Okay. So, the moment of truth. Slide it over. I got the door open. Let's, uh, let's see if we can hear what goes on. I'll tell you what I'd like to do is go and measure the, uh, starting bolts uh, the volt drop when I kick it on but my arms are not long enough so and I don't feel like setting up a tripod and all that stuff I'm going to just do it and well, let's go for it we'll see if it kicks if it starts to compress there she went okay man that was easy boy it came on fast all right, the fan hadn't kicked on yet. There she goes now. All right, fan's running. So, that's 91 degrees, folks. Can you see that? Yeah. We'll come back and take a look at it. There's my, uh, my charger still. Still keeping the battery on float, so. I could have actually taken a little more load off if I'd have pulled this disconnect switch down here on the on the RV, but I didn't. Okay, so got a little drop. head pressure on the AC unit has got to be high and for this thing to be able to crank that with a 2100 running watt unit and a 2400 surge is pretty amazing to me but nonetheless it is, it is what it is I don't know if you can see that, but I can't. Yeah, 58. 58 and dropping. Return air. Going back in now at 75. Right there, it's sucking some of its own air back in, I guess. Uh, but we're already down at 83. Right here, we started at 91, roughly. And so, it's cooling it down real nicely with, even with the door open. So, I think that's a good test. Very happy with the little generator. Let's go ahead and, uh, shut her down and 
take a load off that little puppy. Just wanted to demonstrate that we could start it with a uh, with the little thing in economy mode. Although it doesn't look like it makes much difference because she's pretty well balls to the wall right now out there. Not completely though. But uh, it doesn't miss a beat when you throw that load on it even at an idle. So back this off. The little generator just said, oh, thank you, thank you so much. And one thing I don't like about this, not a lot of things I don't like about this thermostat, but one of the things is to go from cool, you got to go through fan, and that kicks it on for just a second, which kind of pisses me off a little bit. But anyway, there you go. So everything's off. All right. I'm going on a trip to uh, Zion's soon. And all I really wanted the generator for was to, to charge my batteries. We'll be boondocking. But, uh, I'm really surprised that this thing will actually crank this AC unit. My wife is going to love this when we get in the Walmart parking lot or the casino and she says it's too hot. Hopefully it'll crank it. But elevation will tear the hell out of you. Your, uh, horsepower and and therefore your output so I don't know if it, it will actually work at 5,000 feet I'm gonna give it a try and see though and I'll find out but it sure works like a champ here at uh, at sea level of course everything works like a champ when you're sitting in your backyard. All the unknowns rear their ugly head when you're sitting somewhere and all you got is a couple of screwdrivers and a minimal minimal tool set. 